Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with the Demons. In our previous episode, our party split into two groups. Theron and Blaze ended up going to the mountains to try to find the dragon and end up run- running into Mr. Mythics. They stole, uh, charmed him and then stole all of his stuff. And that's where we left, left off for them. And then for our other group, Lazarus, Aelrindel, and Ryan had just sneaked into a thug's house. And the thug had kidnapped uh, Rumen, who is who is a lookalike to Ryan. So they just killed the they killed the thugs, and now they're in the same room as Rumen right now, and Rumen's just tied up. Uh, so I'll start with. Uh, well, also, I should say that Zach, who plays Lazarus, was unable to attend tonight, so he won't be in the next session or two. Uh, so I'll start with Ryan, Lazarus, and Aelin Uh What do you guys like to do? We checked his house, or, the house already, right? Yeah, you didn't really see anything of significance in there. Alright. Um, how far ahead is the other group heading to the dragon? <laughs> uh, you don't think they would have gotten too far? Like, they, they'd probably be about uh, three hours ahead of you guys, I think. Okay. We're on a cart now, too, though. Oh, yeah, so you'd be a bit further ahead yeah. then. Yeah. Um, Eat our dust. <laughs> Isn't it, like, wintertime? Yeah. No. Uh, it's, oh. like, late fall. Okay. Did we snow up the mountain, though? Yeah. At some point. Did it right. also be, like... Bring it on, snow. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got some winter tires on that bad boy? <laughs> I put the chains on it, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's not there's not really anything I want to do. Um I guess we'll untie room in. I guess so. Okay. I guess. Yeah, he uh he says Thank you. Thank you so much. You you saved my life. I'm not sure what those thugs would have done to me. It was all me, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> um I say uh, You're welcome. Uh Time to leave. <laughs> I'm going to turn. I'm going to walk. I'm going to head towards the mountain. Where are you Where are you <laughs> heading? To kill a dragon. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good idea. Yeah. The room and size, I actually kind of light up at that. Is he going to come fuck this dragon up with us? I guess. Like, I mean, like, what else is he going to do? Get kidnapped again? <laughs> I don't know anything about Rumen, but... Nobody knows about Rumen. He says to you, did you still want to chat about stuff? Yes. Do you need to go to fight that dragon? Yes. I need to get my voice back. If, if it was up to me, we would head down to Eo, but uh, <laughs> the rest of our party split up, and well, they're the weaker half, so. <laughs> well, I, I think we need to go into my hand. What? Why do we need to go to Eo? Because uh, Artemis. He's not even go. there. Oh, no, dude, he's close. I, I, I saw. <laughs> dude, I, mean, I was dead, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you. I saw a lot of things. That's on the wrong side of the continent. Yeah, I know. We're in the exact opposite. That's about Don't as far worry. away oh, as I it also, could possibly I be. I also sent them a, a raven. The people of Eel? Know. Yeah. And my mom. And also. Um, uh, <laughs> and my dad's house. Because I missed his concert because I was dead. <laughs> He had, no, uh, he had no idea. I said to and I was like, yeah, uh, sorry, Mr. Content, I was dead. Is he is he not with us anymore? No, he played his show and then just did whatever he was going to do. We're kind of like low-key ditching him, guys. So like, don't bring it up. Yeah. Yay. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm, I, yeah. I want to go slay Dragon and help the other half of the party. Cause... I was supposed to go with him in the first place. Well, now we can take... Rumen but you chickened go. out. I didn't chicken out your luck without me. <laughs> you weren't right. even here. Right. Well, <laughs> you could have just not played. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to take off and okay. go help. Yeah, did you grow wings? Did you? Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, Duncan. We make good jokes here. <laughs> I have yet to hear one. Um, <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that back. All right. Oh, so wait. They, you guys took your cart. Oh no, but you didn't take. Uh, 
Mr. Mithers or whatever. You didn't take his no, card. You we just, just took broke a... his wheels. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought if you left our card, then I was going to take it. Yeah, but no, I guess... The, the last card. thing I need is like a Grand Theft Auto on the card. <laughs> both of us have subpar animal handling. <laughs> we did the job. <laughs> we were very thorough. And we didn't even have to hurt him. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, I'm going to head towards there. All right. Ruman will say... If you are going to go fight a dragon, we could still chat if I come along. I can help fight a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel free to come with us. Do what you need to do. Cool. Uh, are you guys leaving right now? Yes. Yeah. Do I have time to go and pick some things up from home? Mm. <laughs> what are you grabbing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my yeah. weapons and stuff. It's fine. Let's do. Yeah. If you grab some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't enjoy like, a nice crisp bag of Tostitos. Yeah, some goldfish. <laughs> yeah. Um, where do you, what side of town do you live on? It's just the west of here, about 10 minutes. Yeah, we've got time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose they're not I'm gonna... sorry. <laughs> it's been a minute. Yeah, I suppose uh, they won't kill that dragon before we get there anyway, so... <laughs> okay, great. Uh, and he starts, starts to head out to go to his place. Mm-hmm. Alright, is Lazarus just following us as well? Yeah. Cool. Can you kill Lazarus while that is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can. The guy's kind of a badass. Even as an NPC, I think he might win. <laughs> Let's Sorry. put that to the test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess we'll go to his home. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so you guys go to his house, it's only like 10 minutes away, he then grabs his things, gets dressed and armor and stuff, and he comes out. So, just because I didn't describe him very well before, uh, Rumen is a youngish, like he's around 7-8 years old, he's a hill dwarf with black hair, and a moderately long beard, both tied up into ponytails. He's slightly short for dwarf, but and but like strong and stocky. He has muscles and some scars gained from adventuring and fighting for many years. And as he comes out, you see that he's wearing studded leather armor with black and red, like, intricately designed ruins over it, at, like, on a doublet. Uh, his boots are very worn from years of travel, but still adequate. Uh, and at his side, he carries a dagger with a black pommel, and on his back is is a... Battle axe with his house's siege sigil, uh, a shield, and a small adventuring pack. Uh, so yeah, he comes out, and you guys are are you guys all good to head out, or is there anywhere else you'd like to stop? No, I'm good. Uh, are we gonna pick up a cart? I'm just gonna walk. I don't know. Do you have anything, Ruman? I do. And he'll go uh, back behind his house and... He's got a donkey. He's got a little... He's just going to... one of those old red wagons. <laughs> uh, he leads a... Uh, actually a large horse for a dwarf. Wow. And behind it is a small wagon. Does he got a ladder to get on that thing? <laughs> you say, say that to him. <laughs> <laughs> say it to him, that's totally you. <laughs> You got a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, That's some good role play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, so is the is the cart gonna be able to carry all of us and everything? Uh, with him, or? yeah, it probably would. Like the horse seems very strong and it's very large, so it would be able to. It's not a large wagon or cart at all. Like you guys could probably barely all fit in it at once. Why don't me and Lazarus take the horse and then you guys ride on the cart? Because there'll be more room for you guys in the cart. You to you and Ruming. So you and Lazarus are gonna buddy up on the horse. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what else is there? It's I mean, fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then there's more room. Room, room in. I, I usually drive my own horse, but I guess if you guys want to, <laughs> I guess if you guys want to, I can chat with Ryan about. Oh my god, some stuff. Sounds fair. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys get on. Even Lazarus, I mean, you and Ale, 
You and Dazzler get on the horse together. <laughs> Dazzler has, has, has his arms like really cutely around you. <laughs> yes, dude. Would Zach be okay with this? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I think Zach would prefer to just walk. <laughs> oh, he's totally the edgy type who walks. Yeah, or maybe ride in the cart. <laughs> There's definitely room for a third in yeah. the cart. Is there? Yeah, all right, then you can be... take the cart, dude. No, I'll, this is I'll better. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't just do this. <laughs> I'd feel bad. Yeah. What are you talking about? Zach torments you all the time. You're a good point. <laughs> Touch his dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I'll... Ra- I'll uh drive the horse okay horse so man. whatever lazarus ends up is fucking whatever another npc that's not gonna like us <laughs> uh so yeah then every i guess everyone else is just in the back of the cart or wagon now then yeah and you guys are able to head out of the city if you guys yeah, want right. let's take this old town road <laughs> And you do actually know which direction you're heading to anyway, so yeah. it's probably best that you're driving the horse. Yeah, exactly. Because I saw it when I was dead. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you were dead right now. <laughs> uh, so you guys leave the city gates and just go on your way, and you're going along the path that you know will lead there. It's yeah. around to the kind of no- northwest, or northwest north north of the city. Yep. Awesome. Uh, I'll go back to Farron and Blaze right now. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so you guys have just stolen from Mr. Mithers, Mythics. Mr. Mithers? Mr. Mythics. Mr. Mythers is who you're stealing for, I think. Yeah, it's his brother. Yeah. Mr. Mythers. <laughs> I don't know. I want everything. And you've taken about 25 different things from him, and you broke his cart down, and are way ahead of him. You can't even see him, see him anymore. He deserved it. This poor guy. I uh, but I'll just go through a few of the things you found. So you found some what look like bagpipes, a wand, some shackles, some gloves, some glasses, a uh, picture frame, a pair of brass knuckles with thoughts on engraved on one and prayers on the other. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, another wand, a cape that is like bright green, a uh, ring. You found a bar of soap, which kind of seems weird too. You're not sure exactly what that would be besides soap. Uh, you found you've also found a pair of boots, a bowler hat, uh, a white kind of skeleton-looking key, three small cubes that can fit in your hand, a quill, a battle axe, another ring, a doublet, a vest, a glaive, a knife. Uh, what do you know is a folding boat, a rod, and a scroll of some kind. Is there anything you guys want to specifically look at from this list? I'm going to lift up the bar of soap. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look at you it. Get, you would. And I'll, I'll turn the fair and I'll be like, um, <laughs> this seems like an out-of-place item. Well, it was a general ware shop, I suppose. Do you think he was just like a dirty guy? <laughs> That could be just his soap. <laughs> yeah. Does it look used? Does it look used? Uh, very lightly used. Mm. Ah! <laughs> I just throw it away. <laughs> I just throw it away. <laughs> oh god! I think I saw a small hair on there. I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> Something about that seems off to me. Listen, is there anything in this pile of goodies that interests you? Did either of you want to do an arcana check on that soap or I anything? Th- I threw it. I threw okay. it. <laughs> it's probably it's, like, it's like a game ending item. Like, <laughs> probably, probably not. Probably, you probably wash yourself with it and it would become invincible or something. Okay, okay. okay. I, I think. Uh, Actually! Stop the car! <laughs> <laughs> stop the car! I gotta go pick up my soap! I dropped it! Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna rush off and I'm gonna like. Scamper over, I'll, I'll pick it up, I'll dust off the hair that I found and some <laughs> leaves, and then I will roll an Arcana chip. Okay. okay. I'll just slap the cart to it like a halt. Okay. As harshly as possible. Uh, you, you hear some of the items, in fact, just come crashing to the forward front of it. So, nice. So, so 15. 15. You, do you notice some kind of magic coming from this? That's it? Yeah, that's all you know. Alright, well, the old guy might want this, so we'll keep it in the pile. And I'll, like, just gonna, like, hide it in the corner of the cart away from me. <laughs> I don't trust that. 
Ah, Farron! Farron, anything? Well, we're stopped. Is it a take a look? Anything of interest? What does the, the soap smell like? Is it like lavender or? Uh, when you smell it, it actually yeah. it smells like no. Chai. <laughs> it, it actually <laughs> smells like whatever your favorite smell is, depending on the person. Mm. Wow. I'd probably Bruce make a cattle out of it if I. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh paper! <laughs> Good <reference. laughs> it's a weird smell fetish. Like you? I have a sniff. Okay, what, do you, what does it smell like to you? It just oh. smells like something that you really like and that would help relax you. Feet. It smell like. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it smells like farmland. Okay. Farmland, yeah. I'll take the bagpipes. Bagpipes? Okay. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I swear to god. What do you. Mean? <laughs> do you even know how to play the bagpipes? Of course I do. Play me a tune! I'm blowing into them. Okay. Oh, God. As you blow into them, you turn invisible. And the sounds all come out. So. Oh, no! <laughs> I immediately panic. Oh, my God! He's, he's disappeared again! And I, like, jump out, because usually when he disappears, there's fire. So I, like, jump out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep but, playing the bagpipes. Yeah, and you're still invisible. Can I hear? And you know that you're invisible. Yeah, you can hear this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can hear all you can hear the bagpipes playing. I uh, roll a performance check to see how well you actually play. What is this magic? Oh, oh wow! And I don't know what modifier I have here. What if you just thought it was the soap? <laughs> so much worse. Um. Okay, so that's twenty, twenty one, twenty two. You're impressed with yourself how well you're playing these bagpipes. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm just gonna walk behind. Is that an place. angel? Okay. <laughs> and then stop playing them. Okay. Yeah. So you you play them and you're right behind Blaze. Then you stop and you just appear. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I look up over the top of the cart. And I'm like, Where are you? <laughs> I don't see. You. Where are you? I play them again. <laughs> You're invisible again. We turn around. <laughs> what the hell? Where is this guy? And then I stop again. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Those are freaky. And these are the bagpipes of stealth. Fuck off. <laughs> it seems very, uh, problematic in nature. I mean, cool, you're invisible, but everyone can hear where you are. I love this item. <laughs> I'm I love whatever this bag of wind is. I'm not surprised that you enjoy it. I don't give you the... So are you keeping those? I'm keeping them. Okay. I'll take like a, a part of my rope or something and use it to tie it on the bagpipes okay. and then around my back. I'm going to pick up the ring. Oh, look at that. What's it look like? Uh, so there are two rings, it's I think, circle. here. Oh, there's two rings? The ring of the painted or the <laughs> ring of risk. Whoa. It's not a board game. I know if they are now. <laughs> Uh, I'll pick up both of them and exp- what do they both look like? <laughs> and I'll decide. Uh, so the ring of the painted, the first one you picked up, has minuscule, uh, like a minuscule drawing or painting engraved in the ring all throughout. And as you look close, it seems to be extremely intricate and re- extremely well done and like perfect. Okay. And then the r- ring of risk. Uh, you see that this one, uh, let's see, what does this actually look like? Uh, it's a black ring all around, and but it has a r- red ruby on the top of it. Okay. Would I know what these are? Probably not. Uh, no, you, you could put them on and roll an arcana check, or just... Or if you have some kind of magic. Well, no, you're a monk. You don't have the magic, actually. No, I don't have magic. But I'll try my arcana check again. Okay. Uh, I'll, p- I'll put them both on. I'll okay. give them both a try. If only you brought your cleric with you who has identified. So I'll roll two arcana checks. Yeah. Imagine. First one is right for now. the... I rolled this... No, okay. First one I'll do is the the red, the red black ring. Okay. So 15 plus 7, so 22. And then for the other ring, I rolled a 23. So when you first put on the black and red one, yeah, you feel as though you got like you feel as though your energy has been drained, but you still have like this amazing willpower, and you feel you do feel strength in your veins. Oh, I feel sad but strong. 
That's a strange way to feel. <laughs> I know, I'm very confused! <laughs> so get the cart rolling again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that ring off. I'll put it back in the pile. Okay, and as you take it off, you feel back to normal. Wow! That's trippy! <laughs> What's the other one feel like? Uh, what did you roll for the other one? 23. 23. Uh... Are you touching anything at this point, like any of the walls of the wagon or anything like that? I'm just sitting in the wagon, so not really. I mean, okay. I'll fuck it. I'll touch the wall of the okay. wagon. <laughs> yeah, so you're like leaning on the wall, and then as you put a, put the ring on your other hand, you actually melt into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all right back there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the wall. <laughs> What does it look like? That'd be so weird. As you look back at the wagon, you just see like a image of <laughs> like the Egyptian uh, blaze. The Roger or the this little rat's just moving in the wall. That's something you don't really see every day. I'm freaking out, but this is awesome. And I'll just start like running all around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just see him running laps around the walls, like in the wall. What a strange ride. Do I look tired. normal or do I look like I'm painted? You look like you're painted. Oh, that is yeah. so cool. I'll take the ring off. Okay. Uh, and then you kind of squeeze out of the wall. I pop out? Yeah. That's so sick. I'm keeping this. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Hmm. Well, okay. So this is the ring of the painted. Using this ring, you can melt into a wall you touch, turning yourself into a moving painting. It has four charges. It takes one charge to melt into the wall and one to melt out of it. Recharges after long rest. That is so sick. I know how we can get the crown back. <laughs> <laughs> sell ya get taken to the background the store mid- midst of the night that is so dope That's how'd you lose a crown uh, I uh, sold it so can I wear really it? Sh- oh just my for god. a thousand gold pieces oh my god it's the first crown so, the first so can I wear the ring without melting into the wall yeah Okay, I'm gonna keep it on then and then the only other thing I, well there's actually two things I'm interested in the uh, where are they Say some stuff for us. No, the you're not here. The brass knuckles. Uh, okay. Can I use those as a monk, or would it? Yeah, you can. Okay, so like, if I'm using it, do I still? Is it technically an unarmed strike? Because uh, it's with my fists. I'm, that's what I'm not sure about. Yeah. So because you're a monk, you can choose to either uh, just use your own own uh, unarmed strikes because they're higher than normal, or you can. Uh, Use what it is, so because they do more damage. Be three d four psychic damage and three d four radiant damage. So psychic for the prayer prayers. No, uh, three d four psychic damage for thoughts, and three d four radiant damage for prayers. Okay, so pair of brass knuckles. I probably should have rolled an arcana, but yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. Like that does more than I do right now, but. I'll, I'll, uh, and the other thing, I want to look at the two wands. What do the two wands look like? Uh, so Whoa, I'll pick up one for now. The first thing you pick up is a pure black wand, and when it's in the light, you can just barely see what looks like a raven or a crow on on the very end. I pick it up, like my swish screen. and flick it. Okay, raven. Uh, roll a d twenty for me, please. Ten. Uh, ten crow, uh, ten crows just fly out, materialize out of it, and just flap their wings all around. Stuck in and a then do like a <laughs> small circle around, and then just fly away. They fly away? What? That seems so pointless. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Hey, do you like crows? <laughs> Actually, you know who would like crows? Hillerendel. <laughs> Because he's a, oh, because he's dead, right? Right, it's like a creepy omen thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Plus, he has his billowing cape, and this the dude would be so cool. That's true. That's he true. would get bonus mm. points for performance. Exactly. Roll an intelligence. Let's let's keep it here for him, Kiss. He wants that. I'm gonna take these uh these brass knuckles up. Aren't you keeping all the magic items? No. I took the ring of the painted and I took these brass knuckles that I don't know anything about. I think they're just brass knuckles. Aren't they all in the... There's so many things here, you're fine. (laughs) I'm just confused. (laughs) I'm asking. Holy fuck, I took two things. Did you want to know what the other wanted? 
Oh, yeah, I'll pick up the other one. I'll, I won't ass. even ask. I'm just going to switch and flick it, too. Uh, wait, where's the other one? Um, the fuck is the other one? You're, oh, you're okay. driving the cart, right, right Farron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just in the back, you see, like, <laughs> me just, like, swishing wands back and forth and, like, picking stuff up, like, a Christmas day. Like a fucking crows? This is the most fun I've had in years! Having a distracted <laughs> driving issue. <laughs> I'm gonna point the wand, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I thought about hitting uh, Stockholm with it. <laughs> oh my god, dude! We're gonna get demonetized for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lovecraft would love it. Uh, you flick it, and nothing seems to actually happen. What if I point it at Lovecraft? <laughs> you point at Lovecraft and point and swish at him and nothing happens. Point it at Farron. I no <laughs> the back of his head he's trying to That's scream. dangerous. <laughs> I'm gonna try and roll an Arcana check. I'm gonna okay. see what this is as well. Okay. Nat twenty Whoa. You know that this is a wand of secrets. Yeah. I don't know what that does. So it Get the wand has three charges, you've used two already. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? <laughs> While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges. If a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points at the one nearest you. The wand regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. 1d3? Yeah. There's even a 3 die. Yeah, that's weird. What the fuck, Dungeon Master Sky? <laughs> <laughs> what is your deal, guy guy? This roll is four and kind of four is a three. <laughs> yeah, the <but> lens. <laughs> I'm gonna slam the card to a halt again. Okay. <laughs> uh, everything just comes crashing back to the front. <laughs> and then just roll a dexterity saving through. Oh, fuck, fuck. Crush Lovecraft. I rolled a 16 plus 1, 15, uh, 17. You're easily able to save the card. Hey, what's that about? Oh, I just wanted to see more of the stuff back here. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you want to switch then? I'll drive for yeah, a while. We're going to legit yeah. catch up in no time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll switch spots. I'll let him drive. So I kept the ring of the painted, and I kept thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Did your stats change when you got turned into a... Yeah. My decks, all my physical stats are ass now. That's awesome. No, it's not. I'm a monk. Those are what I rely on. I don't even remember what you are supposed to look like. <laughs> I'm a, what you sound I'm like. I'm a tabaxi like. with black fur and uh, gold rings. is annoying anyway. I'm a black tabaxi with, like, gold ringlets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a leopard? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm going to look around, and if I find a rod, I'm going to look at the rod. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if I find a rod. I think there's only one <laughs> rod. <laughs> you know there is. <laughs> you could say there are three rods in the card right now. Oh. That's a dick joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God. Yeah, you find you find a rod. Okay. And uh, it was in your pants the whole time. It, ha- it has a few ruins on on like the length of it. Yeah, it on does. one side. <laughs> okay. I will I will shoot mm. those ruins. Okay, mm. yummy. Uh, so <clears throat> nothing really actually happens when you do that. You do feel as though it has been activated, but you don't notice anything at this moment. You've awakened okay. something inside of you. Well, Somewhere in the world, the door is unlocked. <laughs> I'll just go and sit in the front of the cart in the passenger seat and well, just keep inspecting the rod. Okay. Uh, would you two be chatting at all? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> here and there. Right. Yeah. So while you've got this rod activated, you try to you talk to Blaze and you see Blaze's mouth moving, but no sound actually comes out. So anyway, I really fucking hate you and I just <laughs> can't stand you and. I don't even know why we're hanging out right now, but I really want oh us to God. work on a relationship. I think what? we should be... What? What? Oh, now you're ignoring me. <laughs> we're going to play this game, huh? What are you saying? Wow! <laughs> Mature! Mature! Yeah, and I'm just going to turn around <laughs> and face the road. Fucking, I can't believe this guy, man. Are Drop you just speaking, like, really quiet? Or what's going on? No, I'm talking to you, man! Don't like we you. you hear the claps, but you don't. You still don't hear his voice. <coughs> Hello. Why are you talking so quiet? I'm not. Or are you uh, just mouthing the words? Are I'm, you trying to? Are you trying to play a practical joke? I am actually yelling at you right now. Roll an insight check. <laughs> That's pretty okay. Uh, 
Imagine if you got a one, like, you think Clay's <laughs> lost his place. <laughs> uh, 14. You're, you think this might have to do with the rod that you're stroking. <laughs> I will oh boy. stroke the rod. Okay. I'll place it uh, just beside me. Okay. Uh, once you do that, you can hear him chatting again. <laughs> I can't believe you would just treat me like this. I'm trying to improve the relationship that we have. Well, hey, now ain't this strange. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Touch this rod. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll it over. <laughs> I pick up the rod, and I swish and flick it, even though it's a rod. <laughs> yeah, uh, nothing happens to you swish and flick it. What the now, fuck? ain't that silly, huh? How, do you, how does this work? Silly. Well... It's working right now, probably. No, it's it's not working at all. What's it supposed stroke to do? Stroke it. <laughs> that seems weird. Stroke it. I, I stroke the rod. Uh, Is it, it working now? Yeah, you see, you see his mouth move, but he can't actually hear him. What? Exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying. Oh, damn it. Put the rod down. What? <laughs> <laughs> Grab the rod and... Whoa, that's down. mine! <laughs> yeah, man, just put Please let the yeah, cart be red. So, he can now hear you. Off the pan. Oh my god, that's a freaky item! Right? I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god. I'm gonna put it in my... When I'm in my, my satchel. When would that ever come into use? When I don't want to hear everyone. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Sometimes people can get annoying. You know, sometimes we just all need our quiet time. So this is the rod of speech. Only the person holding this rod is able to speak when activated. Everyone within 30 feet is either mute or can't actually, like their voice can't actually come out. Or make noise. What about telepathy? (laughs) (laughs) Just... <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. Pop quiz. <laughs> I don't think telepathy would work, actually. Nice. Yeah. Really? What about Damn. sign language? <laughs> Your hands <laughs> become Minecraftian blocks. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Sign language, it, you wouldn't actually be able to understand what they're saying, and no one would be able to. Wow. Do any of these items require attunement? Uh, any that are weapons would. Shit. So, like, the brass knuckles would. Shit. Okay, I will attune. Uh, what is it? Thoughts and prayers? Thoughts yeah. and prayers. Brass knuckles. More like mass knuckles. You know, like mass? Like, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got it, Tony. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you know what? It was actually pretty good, Tony. Oh, thank pretty you. Good. I like no, that. That was, clever. that was very clever, Tony. Please don't encourage was, him. No. Tony, I'm impressed by your sense of humor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Shout out to the hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Farron. I forgot your voice was Pinocchio yeah. from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, donkey! <laughs> no, um... Where are we going? <laughs> exactly. Why did you sing like that? that? <laughs> I don't know. Where are we going exactly? That's better. We're going to the dragon. <laughs> okay, that narrows it down to about 35 different mountains. We go slay a dragon, we get everything we want. No one questions you. All right. All I know is that there's a fork in the road coming up, and I need to know if we got to go left or right. Forks have three prongs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did the <laughs> <laughs> what did the letter say again? Uh, let me check. Um, ah, but they got two spaces, so it's like forks have four prongs. You fucking morons. <laughs> Some, of them, have Some three. of them have three. I've never seen a fork with three prongs. <laughs> oh my god! Too. All the old forks have three prongs. Get it together. Are you fucking? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you being serious right yeah. now? Yeah. I'm serious. I don't. I, I can't fucking believe you. <laughs> You're always like... <laughs> what? I'm serious! Okay, have you ever seen, like, the old movies, like, in medieval times? Their forks had three prongs. Like, they didn't have movies in medieval times. No, but movies idiot. about medieval times. Or, like, stories about medieval times. Or anything about medieval they, times. They, they all they, had three prongs. They invented the trident. And they're like, imagine this was smaller. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they thought of the, 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 the fork and they're like, what if this was bigger? <laughs> Then Man, stabbing my wife with this now is very effective. <laughs> Why you gotta go there? <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm so It's like a joke. <laughs> shut, shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> so the letter read, Fellow adventurers, I have tracked the dragon to a frozen marsh. 
in the valley in the mountains to the west of Ait. It is a good, it is a great day for death. Vengeance is mine, Fasmir. <laughs> Wow, Fazmir's got a fucking flair for the dramatic. Yo, this guy is intense! Listen, he said we have to go to the west of Ite, so I'm gonna go <coughs> left. Because that is west. Are you certain? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna take a hard left. Okay. Just off the path. Just really I'm driving hard. right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna yeah. yank on the reins. <laughs> I already started turning left! <laughs> Listen, just sit in there and play with your toys. Oh my god! I hope we find that wizard soon. Right. Oh boy! I know where he is. Yeah, where I know where his cabin is. Cool. Do I, is there any way? Like, I, I don't know, know where the dragon is, but like street checks or I refuse check? to do. Uh, rule. <sighs> you you know where you're going in summit. And anyway, I just had a good idea. I'm sorry okay. to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> Does the letter smell like Fasimir? Because I have a wolf. They will just track this man down. That's smart. I guess it was a little bit. Because he touched it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he sneezed on it. <laughs> yeah, but... Can I have him try and roll it? Uh, it'd be with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, it he thought he'd be cute dra- dra- Since the uh, raven had picked up the... <laughs> right. So, before. so just a straight roll then, because yeah. he has advantage. Okay. Because uh, he's yeah, a wolf. Yeah, clean. He thought he'd be cute to spray his cologne on there and seal it with some lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. What? What would I Fast roll for him, though? XOXO. XO. <laughs> Because never mind, he doesn't have advantage because that's only for perception checks that rely on hearing or smell. Okay. So would I just would it be like a survival for him? Yeah, with disadvantage. <laughs> Those are pathetic. A four. Lovecraft, can you smell this man? Lovecraft just stares at you, wagging his tail. <laughs> no, father. <laughs> Damn it, I can't stay mad at you. And I just kiss him. No, little kiss. <laughs> Let me try. I'll just gesture. I'm gonna be like sniff, sniff. Okay. Point at the letter. <laughs> Roll survival with disadvantage. Alright, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is. It's a plus one, it's for a wolf, you boob. Three. It's not you. Yeah, I, you have no idea what you're, what are you even trying to smell. <laughs> are you trying to smell it? <laughs> yeah. I thought the wolf was smell. <laughs> oh, I also asked the wolf to smell it too. But... <laughs> he he couldn't smell it before, so he's not gonna smell it now. Damn it, that was my one trick! So you know that you're somewhat the right direction you're supposed to go since you know it's to the west of light. Do I remember any valleys? Oh, yeah, I guess you have been here before. Yeah, I've traveled through Ite a few times. Yeah, uh, roll a survival check. With advantage? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> think you're cute, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I haven't even rolled a dice yet, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm on fire! Uh, you, do you know exactly where he's talking about? Do you know where this frozen marsh is? You know the two mountains in between, and you know that exact valley. You've been there before on different expeditions and stuff like that. I know exactly where to go. Left or right? Left. <laughs> We're going left. <laughs> and I'll make a left turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you're making a rail. I'll go back to you guys. All right. Awesome. Uh, so you guys have just left the city of Vite and yeah. are on your way. Yeah. You're leading the car because you know exactly where you're going. Yeah. So I'm leaving the... I'm driving. Running. Running the horse. Yep. You driving. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Uh, is there anything anyone specifically wants to do right now? Drive. <laughs> Shut up and drive. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I'm, I'm just gonna sit. And wait. Okay. Uh, Ruben will... <laughs> will I ask you, like, why you're... Why you're hunting a dragon? And, like, what led to you this? Question. It was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> no, not for us. I'll just fill him in on, like, meeting Fazmir and all that. In game, it's been, like, three days. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> not been long at all. Yeah, but it was, like, three months ago in real time. Uh, he says, okay, that makes sense. Uh, if it's an evil dragon, it's. It might. It'll probably be a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I like this guy. <laughs> uh, and he'll ask you. So, wh- where are you from again? Where Where were you born? Um. Hell. Sten. Sten. Oh, he says. <laughs> so, a long time ago, my father Rabian. Had actually 
had a son who they were unable to take care, care of, so a clan in Sten ended up taking him in. Mm-hmm. Fa- and the fact that we look so much like... That does seem to be suggestive, doesn't it? Very much. You're adopted! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just abandoned. <laughs> It's like reverse adopted. <laughs> so, might be blood brothers. <laughs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> Why? <laughs> is, uh, I'm amused. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, possible. I don't know. <laughs> we should go visit dear old dad then at some point. I agree. I think that might turn, on, turn up some answers. He's actually... It, Still living in Igor. Lovely. So maybe, maybe after he killed this dragon, we can do that. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Such a big to-do list. <laughs> dude, we literally need to go to Eel Lab. We're not, <laughs> going, <laughs> the, the we're not be, going to Eel. Dude, the town's going to be attacked it's like a cr- We're days. not going to get there in time. We've it's across ignored, the continent. We've ignored the main quest for <laughs> in real life like four months. Yeah. <laughs> more. No, it's been, it's been longer than that for sure. The worst players. You know, it's been since you guys... We're in Haria, which is yeah. like episode 32 or yeah. something. Good times. Yeah, uh, since I got turned into a monster. I've been trying to keep track. It's been approximately like 12 days since I died. Like, like died the first, first time. time? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. No, it's got to be more than 12 days. I'm sure. Because so. we, we did the whole uprising in uh, Stillsby when we overtook the throne. But that took two days. And it feels a lot longer. Three but days, game, I, think. I think. it's. Was it but three then maybe maybe I missed a day or two, but it's only been... Like, it hasn't been that long, I don't think. Oh, my God. Maybe, I don't know. Unless I missed some. I thought it would have been around three weeks. That's fine. You know, we can listen back and like, yeah. really discern if we want. All we need to know is that time is it's a good. miracle we stayed together as long as we have. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know how I ended up with you fucks. Yeah, we all got bribed in Avranches. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It was just like a saying. <laughs> it's getting awkward. Do the D&D <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Back to the game. Uh, no, what would Ruben, be your new intro. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben will ask you like. Just about how he grew up and stuff like that. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> dude, you think you meet your long lost brother and you sound so oh, <laughs> unexcited, dude? Well, fuck. I don't know him. <laughs> say, say this in game. I'm not going to say that to him. Say it to him. I just met him. Say it to him. Stupid bitch, say. You're not here. <laughs> Maybe you guys have like do you have like half a locklet a locket or something? And then like, you guys have like <laughs> No. Okay. This isn't a Disney movie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you were my mother. <laughs> Let it go. Stop. <laughs> uh Ruman will Did you tell Ruman that he that you were a blacksmith? Okay. So you you said you were a blacksmith before, right? I was. And that is in Eight? I mean, that is in Sten, was it? Yeah, in Sten. Wh- uh, what was your master's name? So I might have actually met him at some point. I still haven't named him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> name him Garfield. <laughs> what an epic name. <laughs> For an epic character. My my dad might have actually gone to that shop to get a new weapon at one point. And get rid of a kid, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I really need that axe. Dude, you can't afford it. I will sell my son. How much take how much will you take for this laddie? Oh my god. <laughs> do you do you remember ever ever having to Having a sword, I mean, a axe or sword or warhammer that had a lot of like ruins designed into it or anything like that. We made quite a few over the years. Okay. Because any weapon that my father or I had have had has always been with those ruins on it, like 
the ruins like this, and he takes out his dagger and just shows the ruins. They're, like, very distinctive when I recognize them. Uh, <clears throat> roll a uh, history check, I guess. Twelve. Uh, you do you notice, uh, you're able to kind of read these ruins a little bit, and it seems to be a family name. The family name of, uh, Rockney. Rockney. <clears throat> okay. And do they seem familiar? You think so, yeah. After, like, thinking way back when you were blacksmithing for a long time. Like, you'd probably be able to memorize most of the specific weapons you've made and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. And this does seem kind of familiar. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, these seem familiar. Clayton, could you not, please? Can you please take this seriously? <laughs> I, what? I'm just trying to roleplay here. You're giving me a really hard time. I'm sorry. <laughs> just get it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can, you, can you shut up? <laughs> Please? You? Just give me man to let it out. <laughs> let it go. Okay, go upstairs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the second high five this session. <laughs> yes! Yes! <gasps> okay, fist sorry. bump. Alright, Okay, go. Out. Go, Ruin, brother. <laughs> Axe, role playing. So, so you or your uh, blacksmith master may have most likely actually. Made some of my family's weapons. That does seem to be likely, yes. Which is quite a coincidence, I think. Well, he was the greatest in the land. It's I got common for that's people a to fair seek point. Out. Yes, it's a wonder that my father never thought you looked like him or anything like that. But well, maybe he might not have even seen you at that point. It's it's impossible to say, really. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there anything you want to do right now besides just drive um, the cart? Do I hear any of this? You'd or? probably be able to, yeah. Okay, um, that's cool. Um, I'm just gonna let them chit chat. Uh, yeah, because I know where I'm like where I'm headed, right? Yeah. Sweet. Um, do I see any like previous like tracks or anything that like I'd assume would be from them at all or? Uh, yeah, so this is a well traveled road. This is is in the two too well of a traveled road, so you do see a few different prints and stuff like that. Okay. And tracks. So you're not uh roll a survival check. Okie dokie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a twenty one. You're pretty sure you know what which tracks are from the car you were in before. Nice. Um sweet deal. So and you'd guess that they're probably around five hours ahead of you right now. But since you're in a cart, it, you'll probably be on the same, uh, at the same speed as they are now. Okay, sweet. So we're not too, too bad. Yeah. Too far behind. Do I, do I know how long approximately it'll take until we'll get there to the, the dragon? Uh, you think it's about a, uh, about a seven hour drive. Okay. I just, uh, as we're going, I just like, when there's like a break between when they're chatting, I like say yeah. back to them, I'm like, I see the other's tracks. We're about seven hours away. Uh, very ranger of you, man. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Exposition drop for you. Thanks, man. Yeah. So, nothing else I really want to do. I'm just going to like keep my eye out for anything, like in case we see anyone or. Anything cool? Okay. Uh, after a while, like after probably two or three hours, you do see a cart at the side of the road broken down. And as you approach, you see that there's uh... a little man stuck in <laughs> it. Is this right? This <laughs> you see Ow. that there's a banner on top of that, that that reads Mr. Mythics Mythical No, Mr. Mythics Mystical mythics. Um, oh shit. <laughs> and we don't know they they, uh, no. they they robbed them, right? Okay, all right. Uh, so I guess uh, <laughs> I, like, I turn back and I'm like I like look back at you uh, you and Lazarus. And I'm like, guess what cart's up ahead? What, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mythics? <laughs> Cart. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just can't read anymore. <laughs> oh man. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to slow down and kind okay. of pull up behind him. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. You see that it is kind of broken down. You see him trying to... You see... El, who, was he a dwarf? No. A gnome? Yeah, he's a gnome, right? You see a little gnome, like, trying to repair what looks like a bun- like bunch of broken tires. Or wheels. I, uh... I... Yeah, so I, I pull up behind and I stop the horse. I get off. Um... <laughs> I pull up my locks. <laughs> Just... Uh, <laughs> actually... <laughs> <laughs> weirdly threatening but I, just, <laughs> uh, I, I leave it at I leave it at shoot but I just like have my like left hand kind of like resting on it just lightly like naturally okay. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> just naturally resting you know? alright cool uh, what are you what are you doing are you I'm gonna I'm or? just gonna walk up and talk to him oh I thought you were gonna hold him up uh well, well yeah. I, so before I do that I like yeah. go up to the back I'm like yeah. I'm like alright so we were supposed to Rob this guy of his uh, items, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. But we're not supposed to hurt him or kill him, right? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> but if it happens, happens, it happens. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well, <laughs> Ruben will ask, "Why are we? Why are you robbing this guy?" Oh, uh, you know, it's a it's a brother thing. <laughs> I still don't understand. <laughs> well, you, you what? <laughs> Just fucking explain it to him. Uh, Okay, yeah, because uh, well, because as far as I could tell, Mister Mithers just wanted us to rob Mister Mythics because just because he didn't like him that much, <laughs> right? Like he didn't really have a reason, did he? The story is that Mister Mythics stole from Mister Mithers oh, and did took he half his him? business away, and is now trying to make his okay. own business. So right. Mister Mythics Myth- is a bad guy because he's screwing over Mister okay. Mythics. Okay, I thought so, it was weird that yeah. I was going along with this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just. We just tell that information to okay. the I <laughs> present it to him in a firm and friendly and clear way, I <laughs> yeah. guess. So we're not just robbing yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, If you're going to rob him, you, you should try to see his side of the story first, just in case Mr. Mythics was lying or something like that. Or Mr. Mythers. Yeah. Um, that's fair. That's fair. Well, um, we'll exchange some conversation first. <laughs> See how it goes. Good. <laughs> I think that's the best. All right. All right. We did not. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. Who's, who's coming with me to approach him? I'll go. Uh, is what about Lazarus and uh, Lazarus will approach you. Ruman probably won't because he doesn't want to rob people. All right. I I say. <laughs> say all right. Watch over, watch over my horse. (laughs) (laughs) Ruben rolls his eyes and just sighs. Alright, I guess we'll approach uh, Mr. Mithers. Mythics. Mythics? Dude, I'm so... I know, I know. Mr. (laughs) Mythics is is your ally. (laughs) Mr. Mithers is the good guy. Mr. Mythics is the one that stole everything that we have to rob. This yeah. Is okay. Is so this is guy. mythics. This yeah, is mythics. the guy that you guys yeah. already robbed. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Damn, right. Gage. Why'd you do this? To <laughs> <laughs> you even have a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll approach him. I yeah. guess. Okay. Uh, he doesn't actually notice the approach at first, just because he's so concentrating on trying to fix the wheel. What's he fixing? Uh, just the wheel itself. Okay. I smashed all of his spokes. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, there's no fixing this. I've destroyed this car. He got up the... the. Oh, wait, did they meet him on that path, or was it... Yeah, it was oh, I thought path. it was in town. I thought it was... Yeah, really... we met him on the path. Oh. <laughs> I smashed each spoke. Yeah. Oh, my God. The oh, guy's not like, fixing it. I don't know. Just culture. I'm going <laughs> to... I'll... I'll... Hey, <laughs> I'll walk up and be like, let me help you with that. And then I'll start using mending to fix all the spokes individually. Okay, he, wow. Yeah, man. He's kind of started a little bit at first at this. But he <laughs> says, oh, awesome, thanks. Uh, I've been trying to fix these damn spokes for about three or four hours now. Damn. Some fucking idiots came and just <laughs> dropped me of all my stuff and then broke my wheels. Idiots. Bandits. What? <laughs> 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 What did they look like? Uh, there was one, well, one of them was wearing a hood and cloak, and it's hard to tell, but he kind of had a 
really weird looking face, like almost, almost like devilish or demonic looking or monster, monstrous kind of. The other guy was, uh, he had a, a go- golden mask on and, uh, he was wearing a bear's cloak and, what else do you wear? Again? He's 17. Uh, he's, he's 17. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know that? Yeah, it would be my black robe as well with the okay. sash and the satchel. Okay, yeah, he realized that in front of you. Um, dude, I'm assuming we realize these are yeah. <laughs> our friends. Cool. Um, I say, did they take everything? <laughs> they took all of the items I have in my shop. Like, I'm a... a I'm a traveling merchant. I sell like items and magical items and magical weapons to people, and now I can't actually sell anything. That's crazy. Where do you get all your items from? Uh, most of the time, just at uh, adventuring. I have a couple of people who go and find them for me mm-hmm. in different dungeons and stuff like that. But yeah, can I insight that and see? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I want to as well. Okay. Uh, twenty-four. <laughs> my Yo, dude, that's, that's sick. sick. Yeah, insights. My, my insights dope. <laughs> <laughs> A natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so, being so honest. <laughs> so Tony, you, yeah. you've never seen someone tell the truth so well. Dude, wow. I actually kind of feel bad for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Duncan, uh, the way he said it, you, you're pretty sure that that's the way he gets some of his goods, but not how he got most of his goods. Oh yeah, okay, I'll play along. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, well, uh, I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're not Australian. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That sucks, huh? Not that I'm one to talk about bad accents. <laughs> you have absolutely nothing? Nothing at all left, no. Nothing even in your pockets? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> That's a very specific question. That is so sus. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I insert that? Yep. <laughs> that Dude, we're, gonna, we're gonna rob this guy. <laughs> Oh, I thought we were bad. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> two. Oh my Insane. god. Yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen more rules Again, over there. Again, this yeah. guy couldn't be telling more truth. All right, dude. See. I believe he's got nothing. Yeah. This man. Yeah. I feel bad. Um. <laughs> Damn. Well, that uh. That really sucks. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I have no business anymore right now. I. And I'm out of, like, tons and tons of money from these items I had. Well, that's that's consumerism for you. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll take all of them. Dude, I feel bad for this guy. We were going to rob him. He's got nothing. I feel bad. I think right. we just need to leave. Um, we could beat him up, but... I mean, <laughs> like, uh, I, have a, I have a proposal. We ran are, into you, are you telling this to me or hit to him as well? To him. Oh, okay. What's that? Um, we ran into this other traveling merchant named Mr. Mithers that maybe you can partner up with him. Uh, roll a perception. Or uh, a perception. Do I as well? Uh, sure. Uh, eight. I'm rolling my other die now. Eight. Uh, wait. Only eight. Uh, Seventeen. So, you don't notice him do anything when he mentioned the name. You notice him, he kind of twitches at the name, when you say the name, and is surprised that you guys knew the name. Mm. 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 Yeah, he seems like a, a pretty nice fellow. I'm sure you could team up with him. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Although I did hear he got robbed a while back. Mm, yeah, that was a... Uh, goods, too. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Felt bad for him. <laughs> but maybe he can empathize with you. You know, since you both got stolen from him. Uh... Where do you learn about that he got robbed? He told us himself. I see. Yeah, mm. nice fella. Yeah. Very sure. Fun. Did he send you guys after me? <laughs> that seems like a yes. I'm guessing. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing those guys who robbed me are with you. No, no, no. It's just pure coincidence that, uh, you know, you. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's been telling everybody to come after you. 
It's not just us. Oh yeah, some little sure. kid just walked up, asked for a gumball. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned your name, I was surprised. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? I've been robbed, there's nothing, I, I have nothing left. Is it true? You see, so... We were in a partnership a long time ago, and... Um... At one point, he wanted to branch out more to other types of items and stuff like that. And this came to a huge fight where we actually, like, fought with swords and stuff like that. <laughs> with our magic weapons as well. So this is terrifying. No, I'm holding a sword. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and so, he was winning the fight. And that pissed me off to... A, a super ma a huge mount. So I used one of the weapons or item magic items I had, which shrunk him, and then I sold the rest of the cart. Yeah. <laughs> haven't talked to him since. It's actually kind of funny. You're not gonna lie. How do I? I don't know. Mm. Well, we're not gonna kill him. Oh. <laughs> we're not I'm not evil no like I, uh, I as is I guess uh, like you know like you got we, we took all of his stuff we weren't supposed to take part of his stuff right we weren't supposed to take everything were we he just he just told us to take a bunch of his stuff back to the other he guy. said take some of his things and return to me and I took that to mean take all of his stuff <laughs> and kill him but then I decided not to kill him what's your alignment chaotic Jesus. good I should probably be chaotic neutral. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Things have been changing for me. <laughs> Does anyone have an eraser? No. Oh. There's one on the back of this. There's one. On this. Oh, thanks, guys. I have some erasers. Anyway, I think I lost my back, back to the role playing. Um, I hope on your couch. Damn. Uh, sounds like you guys need to work on your relationship. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Michael Jordan. Well, if it uh, if it means anything, we were supposed we were told only to take some of your stuff, but uh, I guess our other uh, crew crew members took that to heart a little too much. So you are with them. Fuck, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the same place at the same time. It's really just kind of a, oh my god, just a mutual thing. Whatever. It's it's strictly strictly platonic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are, we, what are we trying to do here? What's our objective? I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, like he's got all his stuff taken. I feel bad. Are we gonna try and get some of his stuff back for him? Are we gonna just mm. call it a lesson learned and leave it as it was? Are <laughs> we just gonna steal all the shit and not give it back to Mister Mithers or Mister Mythics? I think that's probably the best. Thing yeah, I think, so I think they both they, <laughs> they both kind of suck. I'm yeah, I had lie. every intention of returning most of the items. So. But you were gonna murder him. Where do your loyalties lie? He sorry, said, sorry. I had every intention. Blaze did not oh. have every intention. <laughs> he has he some intention. He said keep one item or something. I don't remember. Um, but I, like, I, I don't know. They both sound like jerks, so I think I think it's acceptable to you know for either of them not to get their way. How fucked up is the cart? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, considering like, kicking in the wheel. <laughs> he in the time he's been able to fix two of the wheels just from extra wood he had in the back yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, but two of them are still absolutely fucked up. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of friendship. Okay. Well, and that's the only damage to the card is the wheels. Yep. Okay. Does this? Does he still have like horse? Yep. Okay. I'll I'll uh, real whipper snip quick, mend the rest of the other two wheels. And okay. We'll carry on with our day. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Is mending a cantrip? Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that fucking awesome? Yeah. That's so broke. Uh, he'll thank you guys from the bottom of his heart. Yeah, he seems all right. And he says, it is unfortunate that it had to go this way with my brother and I. Uh, I guess he's taken revenge on me from me taking off all this stuff. But... <laughs> That's how it goes, I guess, sometimes. Karma's a bitch. Like, um, 
Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys should try to mend your, your relationship. <laughs> maybe go, maybe go for a coffee or uh, a walk. <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Go on a walk, nice romantic. You know, we don't, we all don't last forever, and uh, you know, family is the most important thing you can have. You're dead, <laughs> <laughs> dude. He's just saying something cool. Leave him alone. Sorry, I'm sorry. Because you never know what's get, what can happen to your family or to a brother. They can get sent off to some other town, and then <laughs> you meet up with them on the <laughs> way to kill a dragon. You know, shit happens. So never mind. Fuck Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, life's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? In it? In it? Crazy? You fucking wild, man! You fucking what, man? <laughs> <laughs> All um, British people everywhere are offended. Right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. You do have a point, but I don't see Mister Mithers ever wanting to see me again. So probably won't ever happen. All right. Well. Yeah. Life sucks. <laughs> um, uh, whatever. Yeah. And you guys are just going off again. Yeah. Hey. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll 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 give him five gold. Okay. To oh put him on God, his way. So I'll be like I'll be like here. Wow. Why do you have so much money, dude? I sold I, when I came back alive. I, I sold the rest of those paintings. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is rich right now. I have seven hundred sixty nine gold pieces. I I have sixty. <laughs> I have a thousand. <laughs> I have eight hundred and sixty. No, I sold I all those paintings. I think Zach has <laughs> like five hundred too. He only sold like five of the paintings. Yeah, yeah. sorry, whatever I could take in a handful. Zach is also pretty loaded now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna buy your boat. Wait. Uh he'll he'll just say thanks to you and wish yeah. you well on your ways. I'll just uh Yeah, I'll say sorry, I don't think it was ever an intention to take everything, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> life happens. <laughs> I wish him well, and then okay. I guess we're, are we gonna head off? Yeah, let's. Uh, I'm head out. Psych, you talk. Okay, I'll go back to you two for just the last little bit. Did I say five or ten? Five. Okay. Uh, so is there anything else you guys are doing while you're traveling? No, nope. not for me. Nothing else you want to do? Check out. I'm just playing around with all this cool shit. Okay. Now you're driving the cart. Oh yeah. Never mind. So always gotta grab the card. Uh, there's one thing I want to look at. I know I'm getting greedy here, uh, but it's the key, the little white key. Yep. Hey, can you uh, show me that key again, Baron? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, I don't know. It's why would he keep a key? You know, maybe there's there, we missed a chest, or maybe it's for something. <sighs> All right, I'll go. I'll go grab it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll go grab the key. All right. Um, this is weird. <laughs> oh, there you go. This just a key. Don't be weird. Sorry, can I check? Yeah. Uh, twenty-two. That was an, a nat twenty, was it? No, no. Okay, no. I rolled a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, you've never seen a key like this before. Uh, it looks as though it's made from bone, from some kind of. Animal or person, maybe, or some kind of being, anyway. Okay. Uh, it seems extremely sturdy, and you notice that the actual unlocking part of the key, it's very odd. Like, you've never seen something like this before. Like, it's, it looks just straight, but you can notice, everyone, that it has very, very, very tiny slots. Okay. Uh, but you do get sent some kind of magic in this key. I think we should hold on to this. Why? I can sense magic. Maybe it unlocks a door somewhere. Or maybe it unlocks any door. Alright, we can keep it. But I mean, the chances of finding that door are probably very, very low. It's like, it's like, have you ever seen those movies or books? Like, at the very end of the movie, they're like, Oh my god, this key finally has the door. Here's the door. I'm glad we kept this key for fucking 45 minutes, you know? Like, what's the question. movie? Good point. Yeah, I was gonna say, our movie's getting it. Saving but he game. didn't have to roll an intelligence. <laughs> I missed it when he said it the first time. Slide. Uh, 16. Okay, you're fine. Yeah. You'll never get me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never take me alive! <laughs> You'll never I'll take me alive! I'll slip the key in, and I'll, uh, as we're driving, I'll turn to look back. 
So, do we have an actual plan? To fight the dragon? Yeah, do you have any, like, ideas? Yeah, we're gonna throw Fazmir in front of us. <laughs> okay? He's, I'm okay with that! He seems like he can handle the brute force. Yeah, I mean, and he's a druid, he can turn into stuff. I'm going to non-violently <laughs> take down this beast. How are you gonna do that non-violently? I have the tools. Are you gonna charm person the dragon? Maybe. I don't we'll think see. that's gonna work. You know, you never know. I don't think... Can you charm dragons? I don't think so. <laughs> Can I, I'll, I'll roll a history check. Um, or do you not know you? Also, Fastman sure was starting to fight that dragon when I was dead, and it's currently yeah. been like a bunch of a few hours. Yeah. He's just been fighting a dragon for like ten hours, dude. I'm pretty sure he's just dead. <laughs> yeah, but you never told us your story, so we don't even know if he started fighting the dragon. That's true, but you guys wouldn't wait for me to go quickly help out, go sell the paintings, and then help out with Ruman. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> Dude, you guys are gonna get there like two hours maybe before us, and not like you're gonna do anything. Yeah, we're you know gonna what? do a lot, okay? And we got cool stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we got first pick. <laughs> I think they can be charmed. It doesn't say anything about immunities. Huh? Okay, say here's the deal. Person. We try to make friends with the dragon, right? That's what I'd say. I mean, Peacemaker. If the charm doesn't work and he starts to kill us, maybe we should like, run away. This well. Is- Let's not go that far. We are slowly turning into Shrek. Like, he sounds like Shrek. You sound like Pinocchio. We're charming a dragon. (laughs) (laughs) Pinocchio was never there for that scene. I know. Okay. He is a a tabaxi, actually. Ooh, Puss in Boots. (laughs) (laughs) That's Shrek 2, I know. But we're making our way. Like, we're part of the Shrek cinematic universe. Someone save me. <laughs> Someone save me. I need a hero. Save me. Okay. So, <laughs> so you guys are traveling, and eventually you come to this valley, and you see far off at one end, you see that there's an area that has been uh, pat down and, like, walked on or something a lot. And the culture you get, you see that there is a lot of blood there. I... Most of it's red. Um, I think uh, we may be a little late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we might be lucky and Fazmi may have died. <laughs> or maybe he killed the dragon. That, or the dragon's just not hungry and I can just make it some friends. I you know. <laughs> we can make friends. Well, okay, worst case scenario, Fazmi is dead. The dragon didn't also eat him and the dragon is still mad. Best case scenario, Fasimir was eaten, and the dragon is full. Yeah, and then we don't get eaten, because he doesn't want to eat. I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to start examining for footprints. Yeah, so as you jump out and you get close enough to this place, you actually see one spot where there's a lot more blood than the others. And uh, you see that there's a a uh, an area of pressed down snow. And as you look down, there's a bleeding body. Mm-hmm. That's where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. You fucking wood. Wow. Spicy. <laughs>